Well, hello everyone. I hope you're well. You know, when you turn on the news today, the world can seem like a pretty scary place. And sometimes, all you want to do is just put the covers back over your head and just hope that it'll all go away. But you didn't do that. You showed up here this morning. And let me be the first to say thank you. I am very grateful that you're here. I'm Brad Path, and I want to share with you this morning a place that I love, a place that we call home, Western Wisconsin. Now, I don't like to brag, but I'm somewhat of an expert on this subject. You see, my family has been farming in this area since they first came to this country in the mid-1800s. Five generations have called this area home. I grew up here. It is in this area that I met my beautiful wife, Betty. It is in this area that we raised our two children. And God willing, just maybe, someday, there'll be grandkids that will play in these rolling hills. I love this area. This area means so much to me. There's no other place that I'd rather be. But that doesn't mean it's easy to make ends meet here. The people of this community, they work hard. They put in an honest day's work. Parents who get up at the crack of dawn and whose work day doesn't end until they tuck their kids in to bed at night. People who work with their hands, weld steel, pour concrete, drive truck. Those that care for our loved ones, our family farmers, to plow the fields, milk the cows. These people are the bedrock of our communities. That's the stock that I am from. They're honest, they're hardworking people. They do everything they can to make it, to provide for their family, and yet they still have time to give back to their communities. Because that's what we do here in Western Wisconsin. But all too often, in Madison, they don't keep up their end of the bargain. How do I know? Look at the roads that you drove in here today on. Need daycare for your kids? Good luck finding something at an affordable price. Let's talk about prescriptions. How about groceries? How about the price of gas that you put in your car? People need a break. And it's time for Madison to start treating Western Wisconsin like it's the most important part of Wisconsin. Because if you ask me, it is the most important part. Thank you. That means we need to expand Badger Care so more people can get access to the health care that they deserve. We need to cap the price of insulin. And we need to bring down prescription drug prices. We need to invest in manufacturing and technology so we can keep the good jobs right here. We need to ensure our state government prioritizes and buys products made from Wisconsin workers in Wisconsin factories in Wisconsin communities so we can keep the profits and the jobs right here. Thank you. And we must never ever back down in our efforts to codify Roe v. Wade into law. Ever back down. We must work together to protect and defend a woman's right to choose. Now that may seem like some pretty basic stuff, but if you ask me, we need to get back to the basics. You listen to some of these politicians, and they'll scare the heck right out of you. All the anger, the finger pointing, the divisiveness. Now that may get the headlines, but that's not productive. And that's not me. You can call me old fashioned, but I still believe in treating people with decency and respect. Treating your neighbor like they're your neighbor 
After all, this is Western Wisconsin. We can work together. We can find common ground. And I firmly believe we can make Western Wisconsin and all of Wisconsin better off by sharing those values. This has been the fight of my life. And this is a fight that we have to win. I'm Brad Paff. I'm running for re-election to the Wisconsin State Senate. And I ask for your vote. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.